Hi there, it's Sandy Almack, and I've got another in my series of ideas from pre-printed Bibles for you. This one is called the Canvas Bible, and I haven't seen the one with this cover online anymore, but I did see that this Bible exists. It just has a different cover on it. The art looks the same from what I can tell. But this one has really fun and interesting illustrations to color. Very detailed. If you like coloring in all these little places, lots of fun to do. You can get lots of color into each one. There are some full page illustrations as well as some others. And this one is the message translation. And one of the reasons that I like having the message in my house, even though it's not my normal study version, this version translates scripture into more common language. So it's more accessible. And for me, sometimes this just gives me a different perspective on the same scripture. So I'll study it in my study Bible and then come to this one sometimes to see what this translation has in it to offer. Are there things I can learn from just looking at a word in a different way? Because I'm not a deep Bible scholar. I don't have lots of knowledge about Greek and Hebrew, but I do like to explore the words sometimes more. And this Bible helps with that. So one of the drawings that I found in here, a lot of them are really complex, but this one had a concept in it that I thought I'd like to share because there's a lot in scripture about talking about lightness and darkness. And this one, I love the fact that it has the dark block at the top and the light coming up from the bottom. You could do something the other direction if the verse that you're doing talks about the light first and then the darkness. But I'm going to use my watercolor pencils, which apparently I had some green on my brush, so I had to recover from that. If you ever have this problem, I thought I'll include my goof up. I spread the color out so that at least it was you know, not going to be all conglomerated in one green spot and wiped it off with a baby wipe and let it dry and moved on to the rest. And while it's drying, then I can go back in later on with another layer of color and make it a nice, intense sunshine. But I thought it. I might like to try in my regular Bible, where I do most of my Bible journaling, might do something with a block of black with a white lettering on it. You can use acrylic paint to put that block of black down, or you can use uh, several layers of watercolor to make it dark enough that your white lettering shows up. But I love the contrast between this. And I've got some gradated colors, graduated tones coming from the orange, or the, the reddish orange, the orange, the yellow orange, and then the yellow down toward the sun. So I get a nice rainbowish of my favorite colors. I love yellow. I'm a fan of yellow. So sunshines appeal to me. And I'm just using a brush with these watercolor pencils to blend the color. If you're just using regular pencils, you can blend right over top of this as well fairly easily and get a nice gradation of color. You could do a rainbow in here, lots of different ways to do that. But here I'm just going to add the orange and the yellow orange and stuff over top of this. This is my third layer, trying to make sure I cover up that weird green that came off of my dirty brush. Check your brush before you take it out of the water. Apparently I was painting something green most recently. And once all of this is finished and dry, I'll just put some paper over it and iron it. Yes, there was a momentary pause in there while it dried. And that will flatten it out, ironing up on top of it like that. I did decide to take my Micron pen and finish off the oval or the circle for the sun because the drawing didn't have it go all the way to the edge. And then that is done. Really easy page to do compared to lots of the others in here. They're really complex. Lots of fun to color, but very, very complex pieces of art in this Bible. And I think the best thing about them is they give you a lot of time with the Lord, unlike this page. This one was really fast, but I love spending that quality time just meditating on the verse. So if this Bible is of interest, there's a link to it in the doobly-doo for those who might want to go take a look at it. All right, I will talk to you guys again very soon. God bless you. Have a great week. Bye-bye.